my students today i'm going to start your new chapter chapter 14 statistics this chapter you have done in your junior classes also you have studied a lot under this heading you know how to draw bar graph pictograph histogram frequency distribution table pie chart frequency polygon and many more things you have learned in class 10th you have studied about three measures of central tendency you have learned about mean median and mod before we start with the topics of plus 1 let us recall what we have done in class 10 in class 10 first what you have learned is mean you know that mean means average if you have to calculate mean if your data is ungrouped discrete data then you used to calculate mean by simply adding the observations and dividing by number of observations that means you have used this formula sigma xi upon n but in case the data is grouped one then you have learned three methods first is direct method if data is quite simple calculations are quite simple observations are given their corresponding frequencies were given then we used to multiply xi each xi with fi then in the last we used to calculate its sum and formula we used is xi fi divided by capital n capital n means sigma of fi sum of frequencies next we have learned assume mean method here we used to assume a particular value of xi we used to assume it as a assumed mean and then we calculated deviation from each xi subtract assume mean then whatever is obtained is called di in the last calculate sum of fi di divided by total of frequencies sigma of fi that is capital n and then whatever you have taken a you have subtracted from each value in the last add it again a plus sigma fi di upon capital n but if calculations used to be very difficult one then we have used the step deviation method also here if after calculating di if you divide each di with class with then ui can be calculated and then we used to multiply fi with ui divided by capital n and this whole value is multiplied by h whatever value comes answer comes is being added in a so this was step deviation method if we relate our topic of plus 1 with this uh, mean in plus 1 we will be learning about measures of central tendency range again you have learned the range is maximum value minus minimum value then second is mean deviation this topic of plus 1 mean deviation is related with adding me so first of all before i jump to median and mode i'll be giving examples for this mean deviation for which you need to learn you need to recall as i said because learned you have already in class 10 you need to recall all these formulas using these formulas and little bit ahead moving then we'll be using we'll be calculating mean deviation let us do some examples for this So first of all, learn what steps are to be followed for calculating mean deviation. Uh, first, we'll be doing it for ungrouped data. First step is to calculate mean. Calculate average for the given values. Then find deviation di. Then, as you as you have seen in class tenth, when we get deviation, some of the values come in positive plus, and some come in negative. But here we will be taking absolute value. 
means all the values will be shifted to positive. Then we'll be taking total of di and dividing it by number of observations. Here I've written mean deviation and in the bracket I've written a. This is mean mean deviation from mean. Same way we'll be learning mean deviation from median also. They will be writing m. So mean deviation from mean means m d a. So let us do one example for this. Here I've taken this discontinuous data, this free data. So first step is to calculate mean. Call it x bar or a. So add these all values. 6 plus 7 plus 10 plus 12 plus 13 14 plus 8 plus 12 upon how many observations are there? 8. So if you add all these values, we're getting 70. 72 divided by 8 gives us 9. So first of all, we can make a table here. First of all, from each value, we'll be subtracting this a, assume me. 6 minus 9, that is minus 3. 7 minus 9, minus 2. Then 10 minus 9, 1. 12 minus 9, 3. 13 minus 9, 4. 4 minus 9, minus 5. 8 minus 9, minus 1. 12 minus 9, 3. Now I'll be calculating absolute value of the L. Means all the values will be shifted to plus. Now find sum of all these values. Calculating mean deviation about mean will be dividing this 22 by number of observations. Number of observations are 8. So dividing it by 8. So by the reason we'll be getting 2.75. This is mean deviation about the mean for this ungrouped data. Next example I have taken, we will be, we'll be learning how to calculate mean deviation in case the data is grouped one, group data is given. Like I have taken different values of xi and for the each value of xi corresponding values of frequency are frequencies also given. So as we know that for mean deviation we need to calculate mean. So first step is fi xi. Multiply each xi with corresponding fi. Now we have to calculate the total of frequency as well as the total of fi xi. So total of fi comes out to be 40 and sum of fi xi comes out to be 300. So when I have told you steps to find mean deviation, I have told you first of all you will have to calculate mean x bar and for no, uh, we know that in these cases we used to have direct method that fi xi divided by capital M means sigma fi. So 300 divided by 40. Upon to that means 7.5. So we have calculated mean. Now second step was from each xi we have to subtract this x x bar mean from each value from each observation we'll be subtracting x bar. And this third step was we have to calculate absolute value means side by side we can convert them into plus ones. Xi is two x bar is 7.5. So 2 minus 7.5 will give us 5.5. So we 
will come in minus 5.5 but as we have to calculate absolute value also so it will be plus so we are doing 2 minus 7.5 but absolute value also so this will come out to be 5.5 same way for other values here again this is 5 5 minus 7.5 Minus 2.5, but absolute value gives it 2.5. Then 6 minus 7.5 will give us 1.5. Then 8 minus 7.5 will give 0.5. Then 10 minus 7.5. 2.5 12 minus 7.5 4.5 Now after calculating this xi minus x bar mod we will be calculating each value with frequency So we will be calculating fi multiplying f mod of xi minus x bar. So each case 2 into 5.5 11 8 into 2.8 into 2.5 will give us 20 then 10 into 1.5 15 7 into 0.5 will give 3.5 10 into 2.5 will give 20 and 5 into 4.5 will give 22.5 Now we will be calculating its total. It comes out to be 92. Now for calculating mean deviation about the mean. We will be dividing this total with total of Fi. That means we will be using formula Fi absolute value of x minus x bar divided by capital F. This is the formula and group data is given to us. So we are, we are calculating 92 divided by 40. Two point three. We are getting as answer for mean deviation about the mean. 35 8 into 8 to 18, 45 into 14, 630, 55 into 8, 440, 65 into 3, then 75 into 2. So we have multiplied all the values of x and fi and its sum comes out to be 1800. Before we jump to this step that we have to from subtract uh, from each observation we have to subtract mean. We need to calculate the value of mean and mean is sum of fi xi divided by fi. So that means 1800 divided by 40. It comes out to be 45. Now from each x sign, each value of x sign will be subtracting 45 and then whatever the value will come, we will take absolute value of that one. 15 minus 45 minus 30 and answer after absolute value will be positive 30. 25 minus 45 and absolute value 20. 35 minus 45, 45 minus 45, 75 minus 45, 30. Now, each value of this mod will be multiplied by corresponding Fi. Fi's are 2, 2 into 30, 60, 3 into 20. 8 into 10, 14 into 0, 8 into 10, 20 into 3, then 30 into 2. Now again, we will be calculating its sum. Sum comes out to be 400. Now for calculating mean deviation, about the mean, we will be dividing sum of F5 
identify with xi minus x bar with capital I. So this total is 400 and total of fi is 40. So dividing 400 with 40, we will be getting, getting this mean deviation about the mean as 10. So in today's lecture, we have learned different methods of calculating mean deviation about the mean. When data is discrete or when data is grouped one, but first case when frequency is not continuous and next example I have taken when this frequency is continuous. So we have learned all the methods of calculating mean deviation about mean. In next example, we will be calculating mean deviation for group data, but where continuous frequency distribution is given. Here, this class intervals are given to you and correspond to class intervals, frequencies are given and we have to calculate mean deviation about the mean. So first of all, calculate xi means midpoint of each class interval. 10 plus 20 upon 2. This you have learned in class 10. Add the two values and divide by 2. So you will be getting mid values 20 and 30. Mid values 25. 35, 45. So calculate it midpoints of each class interval. Frequency is given to us. So we will be multiplying each midpoint, means each xi with fi. And we will be calculating fi total. Total of fi comes out to be 40. And we will be multiplying each xi with fi. 15 to the 15, 75, 